Hey guys, Spirit of the Law here. In this video, I want to take a look at the Japanese Elite Samurai and Champion. There are a couple of powerful infantry units that seem to have a lot in common, but are they pretty much interchangeable or is one clearly better in some situations? Let's check it out. First of all, we have to keep in mind through all of this that Japanese have stronger than normal infantry because of their faster attack rate bonus. We aren't comparing elite samurai to regular champions, we're comparing them to Japanese faster attacking champions. Putting the units side by side, the cost is fairly similar, with both being 60 food and the samurai being 30 gold instead of the champion's 20. As a general trend of the stats, samurai have higher HP and lower attack than their sword line counterparts, and pretty comparable armor, with the only difference being that the regular samurai has one more melee armor in Castle Age. Looking specifically at the elite samurai and champion, it looks like a trade-off of 10 extra gold for 10 more HP and one less attack. That might not tell the whole story though. One hidden difference is that the units actually attack at different rates. It turns out elite samurai attack about 42 times per minute and Japanese champions about 40, so they're pretty close, but does the samurai's faster attack make up for having one less damage every time? The answer is no, the champion is doing more damage over the long run, but the effect size of that difference depends a bit on the armor of the unit that they're both matched up against. In general, the difference between their damage output is greatest against targets with higher armor, since the one attack becomes proportionally more important. If we represent it visually though, it's pretty clear that the difference is relatively modest, and it's fair to think of their damage output as being roughly comparable. So slight advantage to the champion in terms of damage, but remember, the samurai has more HP. So if we try it out, it beats the champion one on one every time. And the elite samurai ends with either 15 or 2 HP left, depending on who attacked first. It follows from that that the samurai also win against champions in large equally sized battles. We would hope that's the case though, since samurai cost 10 more gold per unit. But even if we equalize the resources spent, the samurai still have a slight edge. So far, it's kind of looking like the samurai might be better, but that's just how they do head to head, and we can't necessarily conclude it's always better in practice just yet. Looking at more hidden stuff, both of them do 3 bonus damage against buildings, so neither is really preferable in that regard. A common use of champions though is against eagle warriors, and here's where we see the first big difference. The champion does plus 6, and the samurai only does plus 3 against them. The extra 10 HP for the Samurai helps, but it looks like against both Aztec and Mayan Elite Eagle Warriors, there's a consistent edge to champions that bears out over repeated testing. So that's at least one situation that the champions appear to do better in. Besides Eagle Warriors, the other major role of champions is as a counter to trash units. If I have 25 Elite Samurai against 20 Halberdiers, 20 Elite Skirmishers, and 16 Hazars, the Elite Samurai win with around 13 units left on average. 25 champions under the same conditions average around 9 units left over. That's not a huge difference, and both are certainly strong counters in their own right, so it's your call if the extra 10 gold cost is worth saving a few units. You might look at it as the samurai costing 50% more gold than champions, in which a couple of extra units surviving might not seem worth it to you. The other way to look at it is that by spending an extra 10 gold for the extra HP, that might save a couple of units that already cost 80 resources. So even if it only saves the odd unit here and there, it can pay for itself pretty quickly, especially if you have some way to heal the units. I think there's probably some truth to both of those viewpoints. Part of the difference in effectiveness against trash units might be down to HP and resistance to skirmishers, but another factor is probably movement rate. Samurai are about 10% faster, which is nice for getting around the map, but also what's easy to overlook is they'll fight better because they spend less time going to their next target in a big melee scrum. Units in general tend to do a bit of wandering around during a battle, and the faster they walk, the sooner they get back to what they're supposed to be doing. 
To continue going through some different unit types, against archers they're both quite susceptible, with only a baseline of one pierce armor. Samurai have their extra 10 HP and movement speed, so we'd expect them to be a bit more resistant, though in testing I saw pretty similar results. Compare them to another unit like the Huskarl, and you can see the difference in scale that I'm talking about. The bottom line is mass archers are good against both units, and you'd want to have something besides infantry to deal with them. Similarly, against hand cannoneers, both units are going to be terrible because of the anti-infantry bonus damage. We might as well finish off the different unit types while we're already here. And against cavalry, again, neither are a great counter, and you need about double the number of infantry as paladins to consistently win. You could argue that's not terrible, since heavy cavalry tend to cost around twice as much as infantry, but halberdiers are a much better choice overall, so that would probably be your default choice as Japanese anyway. With 30 infantry and 15 paladins, Samurai did a fair bit better overall, an average 10.4 units left while the champions average 4.8. Again, not a great counter and you need to have a big numbers advantage to get it to work, but if spending an extra 300 gold on the 30 units save 5 of them on average, that arguably pays for itself. Unless you're highly valuing gold, you could make the case that while the samurai costs more, you might end up losing fewer resources on the battlefield. I'm going to skip monks and siege because you wouldn't normally use infantry to counter either of those things and it mostly comes down to how they micro. The big unit type we haven't talked about yet though is against unique units. This is where the samurai's extra 10 gold in cost definitely pays off. And against Huskarls, Bold Raiders, Berserks, or any other melee based unit, the Samurai has a big advantage over the regular champion. To take Huskarls for example, Elite Samurai need just 3 attacks to take them down, instead of the champion's 5. Jaguar Warriors are a bit of a weird one because of their own anti-infantry bonus, and I've looked at that a bit recently. Basically, Samurai win in Age of Conquerors, and it's a toss up in the HD expansions, while champions on the other hand get shredded. Teutonic Knights are also a strange case because of their high melee armor and higher cost, so they win with equal numbers, but Samurai are ultimately cost effective. With even just a slight tweak to the numbers, Teuton still having spent more, the Samurai win hands down. If you equalize the resources on both sides, then Samurai will always win by a wide margin. There are lots of unique units you can list though that the Samurai doesn't do particularly well against, including the Cataphract, partly because of its trample damage, but also because of its much better stats. There's a misconception out there that I've seen that Cataphracts are more resistant to the Samurai's unique unit bonus, but it's actually just anti-cavalry damage they have some protection against, and you can see it taking the extra 12 damage from the Elite Samurai. With equal total resources, the two units are pretty evenly matched, but again, not a real clear advantage to the Samurai. Samurai do even worse against the War Elephant and many of the unique Archer units once they're masked up, so there's lots of exceptions to the rule that Samurai are a counter to unique units once we factor in micro and mixed armies, but they still do better than champions in all of those situations, which is what we're after in this video. So that rounds out the different types of units, but getting back to the question, there's a couple more things behind the scenes to consider when you're weighing the two units against each other. First of all, there's the cost to upgrade. Samurai costs 950 food and 875 gold to upgrade to elite, while champions are 1350 food and 555 gold to get all the way up from militia. The totals aren't wildly different, and I think they reflect the general trend of the samurai being a bit more gold heavy. Personally, the costs seem high enough that I'd rather stick with the choice of going for one or the other instead of trying to get access to both in every game. Given how the samurai performs similarly to the champion against many types of units and noticeably better against others, it comes out looking like the more flexible unit if you're willing to spend the extra gold. Besides the lower gold cost and slight edge against eagle warriors, the strongest argument I can come up with for investing in the champion line over the elite samurai is the fact that samurai are made at the castle. That means first of all that it'll be competing with research time and trebuchets, which are definitely worth getting quite a few of as Japanese. Besides that, in most games you're fairly limited in the number of castles you can make, and compare that to how easy it is to make 10 or more barracks, which collectively can create champions much more quickly. To balance that out, samurai are created in less than half the time of champions, which certainly helps, but when it comes to which one is easier to mass, if you're low on stone or castles, champions start to look like the much more appealing option. 
In some cases, you might already be making a lot of halberdiers from your barracks, so the samurai being created at the castle actually feels like an advantage because it lets you get all of your military buildings working instead of just relying on the barracks. And samurai are created fast enough that you can still mass up a decent army pretty quickly. With two castles, for instance, you can have 40 elite samurai in just over two and a half minutes. I guess the big takeaway is that there's a few things to balance in the decision, like what you're up against, do you have the spare gold, and how many production buildings do you think you can make. But hopefully this arms you with at least a bit more knowledge for the next time you happen to be playing as Japanese. That's all for this one though, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.